I'm gonna be real with you, Chief. Mm hmm. Me as Kermit, you as the other guy. I don't have anything to talk about. You, you already backed out on that. Well, no, it. no, I'm just like, saying, other, really... other than that, <laughs> <laughs> don't really have anything to talk about. But yeah, like, I've been watching uh, Mario Tennis Aces because, really, when you think about it, the story mode isn't anything to be spoiled by. Because it's all about the gameplay, and looking at it, I don't think I'm too interested. Because it just reminds me of the very end of the Octo expansion, really. Just over the course of several missions instead of just one. What is that name? Uh, Bullshit yeah, Challenge? Spoilers, but... What? I suppose I had to correct myself and say unless it's spoilers, because it still haven't found that yet. The, the bullshit... Yeah, the... the the thing at the end of the Octo expansion. You'll get there. Yeah, we talked about it before. I watched Vinny play it last night. I remember, I remember you bitching about it. And he was not having fun, and I'm like, yeah. yeah. The Octo expansion or No, 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 just the final part of it. Okay. It's a very, like, it's so, you know how Mario Odyssey has multiple last kingdoms? Yeah. It's, it's always so hard to be vague about these kinds of things. So, yeah, you'll know what I mean when you get to it. Oh god, I hope someone kills that thing. No? Which is what thing? <laughs> the taxi. Nothing. Nice try, guy. I already know you're gonna steal the egg, so I'm just gonna go elsewhere. Ah, oh, it's a snake. I can't see. <laughs> the guy didn't steal all the eggs, he just left two of them sitting here, not in mine. Wow. In the end, I would have profit. I would have rather they got it, honestly. <laughs> But anyway, the, the, basically, there are a bunch of characters in the story mode that yeah. are you just fight them, you know, like normal AI. So they're mm -hmm. fully functional. A human could easily just take control of it, you know what I mean? Yeah. It's not like PD Piranha or whatever. It's just yeah. too big. They're literally, they play tennis just like everyone else. So it really got me kind of pissed off about how they're doing the character releases. Oh yeah, this was the thing, I remember now. Where, you know, the character's done, but we're gonna wait a whole month to release it. Yeah. So let's see. We had we just got Koopa Troopa for July, which is a month that just started. And then after that we have Blooper. And then the only other characters that were revealed then were uh what was it? Uh Paratroopa, Beardo, and Diddy Kong. And then that's not, those are not in the story mode at all. Those are unique. So after that, we have uh, Kamek, who is in the story yeah. mode. We have Boom Boom, who is in the story mode. I don't know who that is. That's the Mario 3 boss that was really easy and you can just kill immediately. Oh, right. Okay. And he, he grows wings at some point. <laughs> yeah, it's like after the halfway point of the game, he starts growing wings. Yeah. I feel like they're. Oh, Shy Guy? Shy Guys one. That is also fully functional. I feel like there's one more, but I forget. I didn't write a list down. But that's a lot of characters, right? So they're only gonna do it a month at a time. Yep. So one of those characters- oh, Dry Bones. Dry Bones is one. One of those characters <coughs> that, you know, someone might love to death, like Shy Guy. Everyone loves Shy Guy. I don't. I'm, I'm indifferent as well, but everyone loves Shy Guy. <laughs> Like, imagine not getting Shy Guy for a year, even though he's already fully functional in the game. Like, isn't that frustrating? <laughs> it's fucking baffling in a number of ways. To an extent, I get, like... Like, okay, you drip feed some content. Like, okay, maps and Splatoon 2, that got mixed kind of sense because he was, you know, competitive multiplayer game. You want, like, new, uh, constant flow of new levels to keep players invested to keep coming back. Wow, but, Gavin got in front of me. What? Wow, 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 wow. What? Wow. What? what? You got in front of me as I was shooting. I was 10 miles shot. away from you. What nope. are you on about? Like, I was actually like 10 miles away from you. What no, are you on too, about? Too bad. Alright, anyway. <laughs> yeah, like, for some of you, like, for Splatoon 2, like, with maps, I can understand that you want to keep people engaged in the multiplayer game. And if you know if you keep the constant like levels going, that means more people will be 
it's constantly updating, more people might jump in as you know, time goes on. Because it's like, oh hey, there's new shit all the time, the game like, has an active player base, there's no worries about it. Like, people not buying it later on because, oh, no one's playing it anymore. That works for, like, a shooter. That doesn't work really for a sports game. I mean, I think with maps, it makes sense because you don't want the players to be overwhelmed. Like, getting yeah, used to a map, mastering yeah. it, all yeah, takes I a bunch like, of time. Between starting with, like, a low map count is actually good because everyone learns, like, the starting maps and then you just introduce new ones slowly so everyone you know, slowly adapts and meta builds up naturally. Yeah, I mean, of course, if you buy the game late, then, you know... Well, Whatever, yeah, but, but you know, I guess that's kind of the price you pay, I guess, for jumping in a multiplayer game late, you know? It's yeah. like hard, you know, in fighting games, you jump in late, well, like, all the people left are just going to be gods. Yeah, or, 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 or like just a bunch, like in Awesome Knots, it started with a pretty ro low roster, and then now it has like a billion characters. <laughs> yeah. That kind of thing, but like... Cheeky ass sniper. It's not. It's like it's it's in the water and it's still shooting me. Oh fuck! But the, the difference between that and Mario Tennis is that all the characters in Awesome Knots have completely different skills, completely like two completely different skills, different mobility, different movement options and shit. Like Mario Tennis, yeah. it's just your character type is different, and then your stats like reach and speed and power are slightly varied. Also, like. You know, the Masters of Splatoon 2 weren't all finished at the start of the game. They actually made these as it went along. And you know, Awesome Knots obviously just didn't have 10 million characters built up and then yeah. on disc and just held back. Whereas, you know, here it's, it is kind of like completely piss taking. Like, they're in the game. I don't get it. Like, I guess the only thing I could see is for balance reasons, but there's already a sizable cast, I guess. They could have yeah. done demo, like more demos if they wanted to do that, which I guess they should have in hindsight, put Bowser Jr. into the demos, but. Yeah. I guess people were saying Chain Chomp was overpowered and he isn't, so. There's a flaw I mean, there. It was probably because like in the demo, it was like against the small set of characters, he probably just performed extremely well. Yeah. It's just like the sheer amount of characters that are very blatantly being held back. Like, we don't even yeah. have confirmation for the characters that are in the game. Which is a good thing and a bad thing, because we got characters that aren't in the game confirmed, at least. But, it's just kind and of there's another game that's probably part of this that I want to bring up, because it, it fucking baffles me. Kirby. I, I I feel like they're working on them. Well, actually, maybe not. No, no, they're, they're not because they've been like they basically had the, like I've seen you know, the game. Like, one of them is Dark Meta Knight. It's just fucking Meta Knight again. Dark? No, no, no. It's different. He has a completely different move set. Yeah, he but like all the animations, all that shit is already done. They just changing his moves would take like fuck all time. In fact, they probably had it done before the game was out. We all know that for sure. Like with this, we know that for sure. Apparently with Splatoon, we know that. I don't think we I mean, know we about know Kirby. Like... But I mean, like, to some degree, they are like being deliberately held back because you know they've had these plans for fucking ages, like from before the game was out. You know, I mean, I wonder. I just references to all of them when the game was out. I wonder because this is DLC. It's not really like it's pretty much You're... the same thing. You're paying for it, aren't you? No. DLC pack one? Oh wait, okay, I'm mixing no. it up. Okay. It's literally just the same thing, it's just characters held it... back for no reason. Because again, like references to them were found in like the original release game. Like the game was the like, data mine day one and all of them were found. I guess the difference with Kirby is that it's not a multiplayer game, so it's not as like well, that thing. I find it more insulting because it's not multiplayer. Like, this is a single-player uh, game. The, the whole thing about holding content back, like, you know, the Splatoon strategy was... Fucking... You hold it back to keep, like, the multiplayer game alive and let a meta develop. You don't get that in a single-player game. There's, like, literally... Like, why? Like, there's like, there's no benefit to doing that. Like, it's not gonna, like... What fucking reason do I have to come back and play the exact same game again? But, you know, with the different character skins... And that's it. Okay, hold on. Before that, 
Thank you, Deku, Hello. and the party of four. Hello, Deku, I'm party of four. Where I'm hey. talking about video games. We're talking about Kirby Star Allies. We started the conversation with uh, how Mario Tennis Aces is intentionally holding back characters that are already fully implemented in the game to, you know, create this false sense of people will play our game every month because of new characters added, which is kind of stupid when you think about it. Anyways, but uh, then Gavin brought up Kirby Star Allies, and here we are. Here we are, because it does the same thing, but it's a single-player game, and that's just fucking stupid. But they are different. No, but like, I don't think they are, though. Yeah, they're different characters. They aren't clones. I mean, like, that's functionally, sure. they may as well just be the same shit. Like, you know, it's just a single player game, and like, I'm pretty easy, one of that. Like, you know, the like, I really with, don't get it. Like, I don't get Kirby, what the point of it is. The thing with Kirby is that it is kind of different, because I feel like you're definitely more likely to come back to the game in a month to do the boss rush with the different characters than you are I, to come back to a game because a new speedy character was added, even though you prefer I, power. Like, Disagree completely because even when I first play Kirby, I don't play that shit at all. In fact, I'm pretty sure most people don't. What the boss rush? Yeah, that's the only good part of it. I de that's you, that, I think that's games, straight yeah. up wrong. No, I'm pretty sure that like it's more likely that most people don't even bother with it because it's like okay, beat the game, done, move on. The only people who like play the boss rushes like mutants, like you and Aki. It's fun because it's fun, and that's, that's not true. Plenty of people do it. I don't think that's the case. I mean, to wit, you and her are the only people I've heard ever actually talking about them. Oh, you're on the wrong side of the internet, then, my friend. Yeah, that's basically like what I'm saying. It's like, oh my god, the sniper was in there. It's just like new characters to re like I don't know Kirby's how do I say it? Even though I don't really care for the platforming at all, I know well, I only care about the boss rush in Kirby. But there are people who care about the what's it called the dream. I don't know any of the names. I don't even know the name of the boss rush. The ultimate choice. That's it. I think. Right. When you say like you only care about the boss rush, I'm kind of like that's like one percent of the whole game. Well, yeah, but not not really because there's the it does take a while. Yeah, really? It takes a while to master the boss patterns and then the abilities you have to beat the bosses with. Really, when you think about it, the main story, is smaller than that. Yeah, like each character and helper has their own kind of unique. Uh, Platform story mode, I think. I don't think it's unique though. I don't actually know. I would be extremely surprised if they somehow had like 30 unique stories. I know Marx had a set of levels that, like at the end, that were unique to him because they used his unique abilities. I think that's yeah. just because Marx is special. <laughs> well, yeah. No, uh, like on the replayability point, yeah. it's just kind of like. I mean, the, the overall point is that, like, uh, you know, they, these are things that were in the game from the start, or were basically pretty much designed or all ready to go by the time the game was kicked out the door, but were held back to just, for whatever reason, try the multiplayer strategy of extending a game's life, but on, a, like, a completely single-player game. You know, like, this is, like, this, I don't get what purpose it serves. I think it works for Kirby. Like they've cut bits of the game while you just uh, dump it later to try and extend the life but of we don't, a game that is not designed that. for that. You know that though. I don't think it's a dumb or you know flagrant tactic with Kirby. I think it is, and I think you're just biased because it's Kirby. I don't even like Star Allies that much. <laughs> Don't really care about it. And I don't you, even. You also just admit it, you, like, you pissed the most of the game, might as well be shit. <laughs> you only play the boss rush. I don't know. It's like. It kind of reminds me of the people who are like, the story mode in Mario Tennis is shit. 
That's like, you know, that's not really where the focus is. So I mean, I Kirby is like slightly the different. Kirby isn't the boss mode. I was gonna, I was gonna I say the, the Kirby, the, like the focus can, like you can just make your own focus, right? I feel like you're just making more shit up as you go. Well, because your arguments are so Jeff hard to argue against, because they're just it's almost like they're so, rock solid. They're so vague. What do you mean vague? Meanwhile, I'm trying to explain everything. No, like double back. What do you mean vague? You're just saying, boss rush is in the uh, boss, boss rush is bad. Boss rush is in bad. deep. You like boss rush is like one percent of the game. You're kind of like that's the only and thing. Then that I say bo like, boss. I say boss rush is pretty deep, game. and then you just say the same thing. No, like you said, like oh, I only play the boss rushes, and then like that's like ninety percent. That's like one percent of the game. Some of the game is that. But it isn't. It isn't. It is, though. It's a side mode, but that's because it's Nintendo a put it as a side beat mode. The game. It's like it's not the main game. You're, you're literally saying it's not like the, the, main game, the main game, but you can put plenty of hours into it. That's exactly what Salmon Run is like. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, like, I don't play like, the what? multiplayer. Like, I play Salmon Run, which is a side mode, but I played it for over 300 hours. You can do the same with the Kirby Boss Rush mode. Maybe not 300 is, hours. It depends like, how bad you are. I'm saying that is 10 percent of the game. Ah, it's not. Whatever it is, 10 percent of the game. Have like you even levels. played Kirby Star Allies? <laughs> no, but I played no. Kirby games. Like, what's the difference? Ugh. Merit. Some of them definitely were done on release because, like, they were barned in the game. <laughs> Probably not, like, the these last ones they're kicking out. Definitely, like, the first set or so. Kirby? Yeah. I wish I, I wish I knew the specifics of the data mine. Like if the people just found character names in there or if they found everything. Oh speaking of drip feeding content, I have mm -hmm. I have some beef with Super Mario Odyssey. <laughs> okay. Because you saw the video of the data miners using all the outfits, right? Fully functional. I I didn't watch it. Wow! But that's, uh, wow! I even linked directly to the Santa one on my Twitter, just just forever. But either way, like that that is like the lowest of low content. At least in Mario Tennis, the ca the characters are different, you know. Mm. It's in a multiplayer game. Outfits for Mario Odyssey. Who's going back to play Mario Odyssey for outfits? Oh. I mean, that's what I'm saying about Kirby. <laughs> No, because it's different, because they all offer unique gameplay experiences. Not that unique. <laughs> they are. Like, these these new characters are even more different. Like, what, Rick, Kine, and Koo? That's like... They're... They're, like, pretty unique. I think, like... No, I'm thinking of Gooey. Gooey has, like, the stone ability, but that's about it. Where he just turns into a rock and falls. You don't have his tongue thing? Didi's the most flagrant copy of all, I think, but even then, <laughs> he, he has some differences. Which makes him better. Let me think about it. But... Yeah, I don't like how they did Rick and Koo, honestly. The multi-character in one thing. I hope they don't do that again. What they did with Adeline... Well, Ribbon just... I think Ribbon just shows up as a jump, right? That's kind of different. And completely um, changing who the character is. I mean, for like, what could they have done with like Ribbon by herself? Well, nothing. They didn't even have to put Ribbon in, but they did. Which is kind of nice. Did you see the picture of Adeline? You have to be more specific than that. The the new Kirby one that they revealed yesterday-ish for Star Allies. No. Okay, I can't really talk about how she creeps me out. <laughs> I think it's her I'm eyes. Her forehead's big and her. Eyes are sunken in. That's the big thing. And she just doesn't look like she has a very small smile. It doesn't doesn't look like there's emotion in it. It's creepy. Ribbon is fine-ish. She kind of has the same problems, but they're smaller, literally. <laughs> so they don't stand out. I don't like Adeline's d redesign. I don't even know if it counts as a redesign. But I did look at an old picture just to make sure I wasn't being a fucking asshole. <laughs> Most of the old pictures would be like Nintendo 64 renders. Yeah, right? I know. It's slightly different though. You know, she still has a big forehead, but that's not the real issue here. 
It's like, Chris Adeline is a queen. Like, I, you know, I made one tweet because the internet would kill me if I said anything bad about the mo apparently the most beloved Kirby character of all time. Yeah, I don't get that. <laughs> <laughs> like, this is like actual furor, but this kind of like... What? It's like a flight mode. I didn't really look at the trailer in depth. I did see Ribbon was in it and she paints the Kibis and whatnot, but... Not Kibis, that's completely different, Chris. What the fuck? Yeah, it's, just, it's I think it's just really cool that... Like, a lot of these dream friends also just have movesets that are reminiscent of their past. Which I, I'm, like, the biggest fan of. Which is why I love most of the characters in Smash. My characters like Ganondorf make me literally depressed. Well, not literally, but... <laughs> no, there, are, there are other things that do that. <laughs> I just do it. Ugh. I don't even know how it was back then. Can't do much with that. Go, go, go! Yes! Okay. Please assist. What? Where are you? It's fine. It's fine. Man. Oh, okay. It's not fine anymore. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God! I am dead. I forget the other dream friends that are coming out. Oh, you know, I hate the way that Kirby Star Allies does dream friends in the game, though. What do you mean? At least in Boss Rush, you don't have to deal with that shit. There are very specific locations on the map that you unlock. You go into this temple, you grab the dream friend rod or whatever the fuck it is, I forget. And then <laughs> it shows a roulette of all the characters. And then you <laughs> get, you get you one do. based on what you get on a roulette. And That's I know okay. it's relatively easy to, like, time it the way you want, but why not just character select? Like tech. Yeah. <laughs> Even just a, a, you know, easier way to get them, since they're the bulk of the game. They're what you're here for. I want to play as uh, King DDD. Just let it slow down. I'm just saying they could just make it a character select screen instead. <laughs> the the could, weird yeah. convoluted thing. Especially when there's still a chance to get a character you don't give a shit about at all. Big Hanna Waddle Dee! <laughs> Whoa, Chris! How could you say something like that? What do you think about Bandana Waddle Dee and Smash? I'd be kind of pointless, like, I don't see how it would have a moveset. They, no, 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 he has a, he has a moveset. Like, the Kirby games have pretty Smash-like movesets, so that's not an issue, I don't think. But... I love this complete dipshit of a human being who's just, like, perfectly weaved in front of all my shots. I when I you were talking it. about me, and I was about no. to... I was about to go off. Because <laughs> unlike you, I actually, like, look at the memes and appropriately more... No, 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 yeah. I'm not talking about that. I thought when you said this dipshit of a human being, I'm like... Is he talking about me? <laughs> I don't know, I, I just think Sakurai's- oh, Wow, Jeremy. Oh, it worked! I think. That was me. Oh. <laughs> We're across the map. Jeremy, I, I was gonna go for you. Jeremy's the tip to get walking in front of my shot. <laughs> yeah, I don't know, Zach, I feel like Sakurai's in charge and he hates everything. <laughs> leave now before you guys make me mad. Before you guys want to tell you. <laughs> No, it's not. <laughs> no, it's not. I'm just saying. It I just hope they out. make a better adventure <laughs> mode in the next game because apparently Robobot is the best. And because Citra exists, and there is a encrypted ROM of it, <laughs> all I have to do is buy it because I still don't own it, and then maybe that could be a thing.
I'm telling you, they nailed it on that boss rush. It's so good. Alright, now that Deku's gone, let's talk about something he likes. That isn't hero anime, because spoilers. <laughs> I thought you were going to talk about hero anime, so no. what, what is the actual thing, man? No, that, that was just a setup. You know, like, when someone leaves a call, and then you go, Alright, let's say shitty things about them. But then no one would actually do that, so then the joke every time is just saying nice things about them. So it's I a mean, pointless you say joke. That, but like every time, like when me and my friends are like splitting up to go home, or whatever. Like whenever one of them leaves, I just I just turn to one of the others and say he never made it back to his house. No, no, but you don't you don't mean it. Sometimes. Like I'm looking I'm looking for genuine mean talking behind someone's back comments that wouldn't happen because you're friends. I mean, me and my friends like regularly. No, nope, no, nope, don't believe. No, 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 no. That's different. I'm- I- what- what did I just say? Genuinely mean-spirited... comments. We do. No. You- you misunderstand what I'm saying. You want me to call Kirby shit again? Like what? But that does- no, that- that doesn't- that's not even related. Okay. What is it then? I- I- I don't- I don't know how to- I don't know how to just- Things someone wouldn't say about another human being. You want me to insult you? Is this a you masochist no, or just, what? No, I'm just saying that the, the joke, the joke is always the same, and I don't like it. Would, would you prefer I say I hit that man? No, I'm just I'm up, just saying what? that what other people do. Yeah, but you had like a us. thing to transition to before we got stuck in this fucking hell. <laughs> what are you talking about? That's it. <laughs> <laughs> well, whatever you were doing. Yeah, okay, you know what? Yeah. Earlier, Carl proposed a Super Mario Sunshine race to me. Mm -hmm. For next Saturday or the Saturday after that. Mm. So you gotta, you gotta play Sunshine soon. I don't have the means to play it though? Yeah you do. No I don't. Yeah you do. No I don't. Like, I, I don't, I'm sorry. You, you, you. you own a computer, correct? It's not set up or anything. What are you? Are, we, are you talking about the same thing I'm hinting at? You're the emulator, like I don't have the <laughs> emulator set up. <laughs> you just install it and you have the ISO and it works! Are you sure? I thought there was like a yeah. lot of talking about with BIOS last time. ISOs? No. BIOS. Gavin, I don't talk about the BIOS ever. The last time I thought, I thought about the BIOS was... Well, actually, I guess that was when... I was reinstalling that new operating system, but before that, the last time was probably years before that. No, there was ISOs. This is the file format for discs that the Nintendo GameCube used, and beyond. And other disc systems. And beyond. The snake would be dead by now, though, apparently. Fuck me. Yeah, it's, it's easy. It's not like Citra. <laughs> Even then, Citra was pretty easy. You just had to add something else to a folder. And some some ROMs have parts? I don't even know how that's a part, but... It's not like PlayStation 1 either. It's like, well, you need this specific driver, and uh, you have it. Well, guess what? It still doesn't work. Also, you need this specific, like, BIOS file. Actually, that one also doesn't work. You have to go get a different ROM. Well, the thing and actually, is, like... the emulator just doesn't fucking work, so you're in the you shit out of luck. I guess they can only upload one part, or sorry, one gigabyte, so it would be split. <laughs> like, yeah. part one would be like 990 what, megabytes, kilobytes, whatever. Have you ever tried, like, they like, trying to do that, but for like a PlayStation 1 game that has like four discs? I didn't even consider, uh, streaming. Or, sorry, no, I was gonna say, I didn't even consider emulating Caro Caro King. 
Like, I was just on buying it since the beginning, so no. Yeah. That's the only PS1 game I'm interested in at all. I think. You, you have expressed interest in playing Metal Gear. All right. Yeah, how could I forget with how that game looks? <laughs> but is, can you get that elsewhere? Isn't there like I mean, a Metal Gear Solid collection on... I mean, on PS3 it has, you know, like a code for Metal Gear Solid 1, like the PS1 version, and then it has 2, 3, and Peace Walker. Exactly, so I don't even need to bother with a PlayStation 1. I mean, no, but just to be playing the PS1 version. Well, I mean, I don't expect they didn't. Never, they never released a remaster, as far as I know. They did. They did. They did. Well, then well, I'll just play that. No, because it's considerably inferior. Is it called Snake Eater or something? Called Twin Snakes. Okay, that's what I was thinking of. Yeah. Okay. Well, fine. It doesn't. Ma it doesn't matter. As long as I don't have to deal with a PS1 at all. <laughs> I guess I'll still buy the. Well. Hmm, I don't know. There are no PS3 emulators, right? <laughs> Jesus, no. <laughs> yeah, it, it doesn't make any fucking sense to me. No, it, it makes a load of sense. Like, you, the oh. PS3's hardware is a fucking nightmare. Like, it, we're not, it's not like a, just a case of hard. Like, the actual architecture for it is a fucking nightmare. It doesn't make sense, even to Sony. I don't know, I just figured people would be smart enough. No, a no, no. decade later. You, you don't know the, the horror that is the cell processor. Well, they did a really good job then. <laughs> the cell processor is so fucking complex that like half of its cores are like something like half or like at least like four cores in every die that like processor die they made was just bro fucking broken off the production line and they just had to leave them out. It was just so complex and so awkward the manufacturer was fucked and then the actual coding architecture for it is just so completely balls that. It, it took like developers when they're first starting out, it took like fucking nine months just to get basic graphics running on. It was a trash fire of a system. Meanwhile, I feel like the newest console to ever be released is like less than six months away from having an emulator made of it. I don't think so. I mean, you mean like the Switch? Yeah. I mean, probably, because, like, it's Shit's based like on, like, immediately NVIDIA hardware thing. that's, like, fucking eight years old. And it also, like, it uses, like, a fairly standard architecture. Then you're more likely to see, like, PS4 and Xbox One emulators than you are to see a PS3 emulator that actually fucking works. Are there PS4 emulators? I mean, I'm sure some of kids has tried, but I would doubt it. it. Like, it genuinely doesn't matter. <laughs> it, it doesn't matter, and because, also... Uh, it's also just the thing of, like... It's hardware is, like, still stuff you can, like, buy on the, like, the hardware market for a PC right now. Because it is literally just AMD things just taken off the shelf, modified slightly, and slapped in a case. And it uses x86 architecture like PC does. But... Yeah. Like, whatever. Like, there's no real point to, like, trying to emulate it. Really, I was just saying there's no point in emulating it because I have an HDMI capture card that has actual <laughs> quality. Unlike yeah. a component capture card, which doesn't exist. I mean, the regular Elgato does component. Nope. It sucks. The quality is so bad. The welcome to 480p consoles. No, they're like, it's worse than that. It's not just 480p, it's like, fuzzy. You know what I mean? That's, that's welcome to 480p. No, 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 like, not... It's hard to explain, it, it doesn't look right. People have higher quality stuff than mine. You know what I mean? It's just lower quality. See, I'm pretty sure that's because they, they've done post-processing. I don't think so. I'm pretty sure that's the case, because like... If you ever actually like, I like I run my PS2 on like on this TV and all here, it's fuzzy as hell. Yeah, because apparently your TV is the size of an IMAX theater, <laughs> as we learned from Monster Hunter World, where <laughs> the text is still too small. I don't think they ever fixed that. I don't know. Just because I got used to it doesn't mean it's not an issue still. Never a problem for me. 
Of course it's gonna look terrible blown up like that. Well, that's the kind of my point, like, like the resolution on like those old systems is just completely balls. No, no, no. no. I, like, I'm no. pretty sure, like, I do understand, <laughs> you're just, it's like they've done editing or post-processing on their videos. And, you know, they just said, oh, yeah, this is source, and without, you know, admitting the fact that they've, like, sharpened everything up before they kicked it out the door. Or it's something like, I don't know, like, if it's like a PS1 game, maybe they're running on the PS3, which automatically upscales and tidies up the image. If it's a Wii game, they're playing on Wii U, which does the same thing. You know, stuff like that. So you have like the PS4 so has so like PS2 HD remasters, which do the same thing where like they tidy up the resolution, like smooth out jaggy and stuff like that. I'm like trying to think what the what the last game I streamed with that capture card was, but it was probably Sunshine, really. But I have no I mean, idea. That looked fine. Uh, I, mean, I, don't, I don't know if that was on Dolphin. <laughs> I think that one was on Dolphin. I'm, I'm not sure. The one where I didn't get 96 shines. Maybe. But I, I, did, I, didn't I, just, do, I didn't do the I 100 coins. Yeah, I just remember you did it in like, you know, like a fraction of the time it took me, so I don't know. Oh yeah, Carl wants to do 96 shines in one sitting, and I'm like, alright Carl. It's just funny, because this is like a thing that we talked about years ago, mm. where Carl's like, I could beat you in Super Mario Sunshine, and I'm like, no, nah, Carl, I really don't think you can. <laughs> And just out of nowhere, he says, want to do, like, the sunshine race? I'm like, well, fuck yeah. No, we'll do it. Kick his ass. Yeah, we're going, both of us are going in cold, so, if, you know, if that changes anything. No training. I but if they're... Like, after a GDQ, <gasps> David was like, hey, we should, like, just between the two of us, like, race, like, offering a time to where you, we, like, get the adult link. I would be and so was, fucking bored. So it was like a. Snakes. Oh, hopefully my teammates don't die over there. Yeah, I can't get anything. <laughs> Wait, no, go. <laughs> What did you say? Do you imply that you have reached 1,200? 1,292. Where are you at? Ooh. I was so ready to be done. <laughs> Where are you at? 176. Okay, like last then? No. Just 1,176. Okay. I just didn't want to say 1,000. I feel like we talked about this before, but I hate the people that say like 1100. Fuck you. Fuck you. That's not Why real. That's not a number. Me? It's not a number. We don't need two ways to say one word just to be confusing. Just 
like 1,000! Isn't, like, isn't it like based on military speech where like it's reduced I... like clips to be faster? Set the sniper faster. It is faster. Eleven hundred. One thousand. One thousand one hundred versus eleven hundred. Like it's like it's no, it's like you know, no competition. Ugh. Except Are we in the military? Faster. Doesn't matter. There's no, we're human being. No, you're just being confusing for the sake of saving one syllable. But if you know I what they mean, are they really being confusing? Yes, because I have to process it in my brain, even for a fraction of a second. You know I'm gonna die one day. I don't need any more strain on my already fragile and finite brain. Because you just want to save one syllable on speaking. Yeah, there's things like strain on their like fragile brains. No, because it's yeah. just one number that comes naturally to the brain. Yeah, and then you just you say one it. Sack in the process. And now you, you <laughs> just <laughs> say <laughs> it. There's no need to have that kind of additional words, you know? Word synonyms are fine because most of the time they're slightly different. And also just provide a, you know. And originally we use in different contexts. And just have create more colorful language. We don't need that with numbers. Because they're numbers. Not even a language. It's a uni- like, literal, universally known concept. I mean, languages too. Not specifically. I see the people who want to make, like, like if Esperanto. We... And, like, this made up, like, they wanted to be the universal language everyone used, and it's kind of like... A good- uh, like, Wait, we no talked one... about this! Yeah, no one uses it, it's kind of like... No shit. I still think it's a pretty good idea. I mean, if we, like, we basically already have, like, we're nearing a universal language, it's either, it's most likely gonna be Mandarin Chinese. Nope, it's gotta be English, cause I speak it. I don't know, I think like, actually like literally a seventh of the world's population speaks Mandarin Chinese. Isn't that just because China is a seventh of the world's uh, yeah, size? <laughs> but you know, it still kind of holds on them. Feeling robot. Oh, okay. Uh oh. Now everything, including the maws, is after me. Even when I shoot the grind and try to escape the move, it begins to actually know you don't get the move. <laughs> oh, I didn't even realize I had the last one. <laughs> That's what it means to be a hero. Hero Desune or whatever. To be a hero. Be the guy who beats the shit out of everyone else. Shut up. Not not you, but partially you, I think. You will be honest. Or... Terrible. Project Doctor Path is like the next week. Isn't that called Octopath Traveler? Same thing. Is it? It's literally the same game, yeah. Okay, I'm just making sure because there are some games that sound the exact same. Well, that's unfortunate, Street. I don't even think that thing was aiming at me, it just was shooting at someone else and... They happened to be like a lot. Oh no, him. no, no! The sniper, at least. Well, that sucks. I don't think we're making this one. 
Wait. Hold on, a glimmer of hope. Right, get me back up that here. That sniper literally doesn't stop ever. Better to go here, I guess, but whatever. Oh, we got this. Ooh. I don't know why like, half my shots weren't touching that taxi, but whatever. Good job, team. We did it. Well, you died at us. Good job, cat police. Save the city. Yeah, I bought new GameCube controllers that aren't official, because those don't exist until, uh, what? When does Smash come out? December? December. It, those don't exist until December for some reason, even though they're probably all ready to go. Might as well just Does it make more them. sense to release it alongside the, pro like, the product that promotes them? Just... They could be making millions right now, instead of waiting. Make, or they could just make billions and more. <laughs> think that they would still be making that amount. I'm just saying they could make it sooner and not lose money to Mario Retro. That doesn't sound dodgy at all. Well, the Amazon reviews are really good, and if they the controllers suck, apparently they'll replace them for free and shit. So. I'll try that out. The thing is, if I'm not allowed to practice in sunshine, is it okay to test my controller by spinning around in sunshine? <laughs> <laughs> I think it might be. But yeah, Nintendo just lost 30 bucks to those guys because they uh, are moronic and don't think that there's a demand for GameCube controllers. It's fine. I mean, they think there's a demand. They just want to wait until that demand matters to them. It will always matter to them as long as the demand exists. Which it does. Because I mean, it it's does. the GameCube. No one's denying that. It's just they want to make their money the way they want to make it. Which is incorrect. Because I want my GameCube controllers now. Isn't it weird that like, I could just make a bootleg GameCube controller that works the exact same? That's weird. I mean, kind of, but yeah. That's such as the nature of bootleg. Like the exact same. Wow. You just have to know what components it's made out of and then, you know, off you fucking go. Just insane, really. Yeah, that's Salmon Run. Now back to not streaming. 